Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare the Chanel Deauville tote with my Birkin 30. This was a requested video and I hope that it will be helpful. It will be a fairly quick comparison. They are similar in that they are both tote bags, but price-wise, of course, the Chanel Deauville is a third of the price of the Birkin, roughly, so that's something to take into consideration. The Deauville tote is going to also be much easier to access or find available in the stores, whereas we know the whole story with the Hermes process. But with that aside, let's give these two a quick look here. So this one here, I did a series of videos on it. This is the medium size Deauville tote. It's the newer version that has the top handles as well as the longer straps. In the past, for the smaller sizes, you would have these straps but not the top handles. So I love that they added these so that it becomes more versatile. So this has often been referred to as the smallest or small size Deauville tote. In fact, all of the sales associates that I spoke with at the boutique called this the new small, but you know, if you watched my video, I did a whole investigative report and took my tape measure to Chanel and discovered that this is actually the medium size. So I call it the Goldilocks size. There's one slightly smaller and one slightly larger. Okay, so I'm going to call this the medium, even though it's often referred to as the small. Also, if you purchase it on the tag, it will say large shopping tote. So it makes it even more confusing. This one is the uh, $3,800 one US retail. So that might be the easiest way to spot the right size. The smaller one is 3700 and the largest one is 3900 Those are current prices. Okay, so here we have them. Let me put it down side by side. You can see that the Deauville tote in the medium size is slightly larger. It's a little bit taller and it's a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm going to give you some shots here and I have my Birkin filled to the brim at the moment with as much as I could think of and I'm going to move the items from the Birkin into the Deauville tote so you can get a sense. This one here does have an organizer insert. I'll show you in a minute. So let's pull these up. It's kind of hard to do because the Birkin's full and heavy but here it is from the side. So of course, you know, this is leather, the Birkin, mine is in the Togo leather, which is a nice kind of grainy pebbly leather. It's got sort of like this powdery feel. It's very unique. It's matte. It's not shiny. This one here is in a mixed fiber. Now just be careful because they also have a Deauville tote that's in a mixed fiber, but it's much more scratchy and has raffia woven into it. This does not, this just feels like I don't know, mixed fibers. It's not scratchy, it doesn't itch me, it doesn't, you know, chafe me on my arm or on my shoulder, or anything like that. It's definitely more comfortable than the Raffia. But you can see from the side here, width-wise, the Chanel Deauville is slightly wider and also slightly taller. So hopefully this is helpful for those of you who were, you know, interested in this tote comparison. Okay, so now that we know that the Deauville in this size medium is slightly larger all, all around compared to the Birkin 30. I want to show you the details. So this one here has more of the kind of explicit branding here. It says Chanel and then it says 30 Rue Cambon Paris. Uh, I do love that it's black on black so it's a little bit more understated than if it was for example like white lettering. It would be much louder. And then you've got this light champagne gold hardware against the black leather. This is all leather trim here so it's really malleable, soft, and comfortable on the shoulders. And I do also love that you can easily tuck them in if you just want them to get out of the way. I've done that before where I just wanted to grab this like so, especially when I'm in the airport. I have traveled with this bag and I just plop it right on top of my rolling suitcase. It actually sits up there quite nicely and it doesn't fall off or slip off. So there's that. And I didn't realize how useful these top handles would be, but this makes it so much easier to grab. Now, when you look at the Birkin, obviously you've got the top handles. Because this is the 30 size, it's really generous, the drop length here from here to here. So it goes in the crook of my arm very, very easily, even with a coat on, no problem. If you were to opt for the 25 size Birkin, you're gonna find that the top handle is going to be considerably shorter, and I don't think it would go up to the crook of your arm. It would just be a hand 
and carry like so. So something to keep in mind. This as well is quite roomy. It does go in the crook of my arm. So let's see. I think the drop length is a little bit longer here on the Birkin. However, the Birkin does not come with any additional straps. Now, I did see once or twice on Pinterest or Instagram, someone somehow added a strap to the Birkin. Maybe it was uh, with their organizer insert or somehow, I don't know, creatively. And I love when people come up with their own way to style an accessory that makes it more functional for them. But for me, this is totally a crook of the arm or a hand carry kind of bag. I feel like it would just look a little off for me to add a strap somehow. It just doesn't feel like it would work for me. So functionality wise, I would say the Chanel Deauville is the winner because this can be carried crook of the arm, slung over the shoulder, it's just easier. And if you're wondering in terms of weight, right now, of course, because this is full, it's really heavy, but when they're empty, they're about the same. I actually thought that the Deauville would be considerably lighter considering its fabric, but maybe because it is larger and it has chains and some leather here, and you know, some zippers in the back and all of that. It also comes with a pouch, I'll show you. Let me take this out. I did weigh both of these in their individual review videos, so if you're interested, you can check them out, but I remember off the top of my head, they were both just a smidge below two pounds, and I was surprised that this wasn't even lighter, but yeah, I'd say they're comparable. So this is a nice little pouch that it comes with and it does have this little clip here. So you can remove it and just use this, which is handy. And this is what it looks like. It is all cloth fabric. It's got one open pocket here, one pocket here, and then a zippered compartment. It's really nicely configured. I feel like it's just super easy. I uh, Like I said, I do travel with this bag and I found it to be Carefree, no fuss, fits a whole lot. Now this one, this is gonna be all leather, including the inside, and I do have an organizer insert from 7RP, but I'm finding that I'm not using it very often. And yeah, so that's a whole nother story. This one is palladium hardware, and you can see the back here. And this does have feet. I didn't peel the stickers off the feet yet, but everywhere else I have. Um, I understand that once it starts to peel on its own, it's best to just rip it all off because you don't want the metal to oxidize. I am aware of that. My Hermes sales associate has shared that with me, but so far it looks fine, so I don't feel like I have to take it off. But this here is more smushy, and the bottom does not have feet. For So that's one thing to keep in mind in terms of like design details. So let me just get in here. It's super caramel brown inside and outside. As you can see, this is the Hermes gold color. That's what they call it, gold, but it's like a caramel brown or camel color. So as you can see, I love this color very much. So this is my notebook. This is the Hermes Ulysses notebook cover and it comes with the Hermes blank insert. So this is really handy, it's beautiful. It's also in the matching gold Togo leather. So if you wanna test out Togo leather and you don't want to splurge on a bag, then this is a way to test it out. It's beautiful, it feels really, really nice. Okay, then my friend got me this book. Uh, it's a Louis Vuitton travel guide for Lisbon. I'm headed back to Lisbon. I haven't been there in over probably 15 years or so. So I'm excited to go back this year with some friends and I've been studying up on all the new hot spots. So that is in here. And then I've got um, this one here is uh, my envelope pouch made in honey vachetta. It's from Dress Up Your Purse. You guys know how much of a fan I am of Dress Up Your Purse. I always talk about their products. I always have a promo code. It's like a permanent promo code down in my description box. Um, here are four passports for my family. We are gonna be traveling soon. We're headed out to Iceland, and then we're gonna also spend some time in Paris. So uh, make believe this is how I packed for travel, okay? And this is what it will look like with my passports. And then because I'm not using an organizer at the moment, I am keeping everything in pouches as much as I can because I don't want any loose, sharp objects to scrape the inside of the leather lining. So this is my mini pochette and I've just got some stuff in here, lip balm, lipstick, hand sanitizer, band-aids. It's like a third full, it's not maybe half full. Yeah, it's not, and it's not completely full at the moment. Then I've got my little Kirigami pochette and this is the small size I've been using as a wallet. So I've got cards, cash in here, and my sunglasses in a soft pouch. 
And then this one, I have to show you guys, speaking of dress up your purse, remember I did a limited edition collab with them and this was part of the collection, still available, they just restocked. So uh, while supplies last, it will be available on the dress up your site dress up your site, dress up your purse site. But this one here, I actually was inspired by Togo leather and of course I love this color. So that's what I asked Melody, the owner of dress up your purse to use and she sourced this leather and gold hardware and created this like pochette crossbody bag with this really comfortable wide cotton band strap. It's adjustable, it's removable. I gifted one to my mom, I gifted one to my sister. I'm obsessed with this. And of course we have the smaller mini pochette size too, but I wanted to show you this because um, I'm gonna probably put some other knickknacks in here that I don't want floating around inside the bag, but I just want to show you how this looks. They're not a perfect match, but it's pretty darn close. So I feel like they go really nicely together. And instead of having all the bits and bobs bumping around inside. I'm gonna just keep it here like this very tidy. There's also this open pocket here I can put my phone in. And then there's also on the back side here a zippered compartment, which frankly I have never used. Um, I don't know, maybe because of this always kind of being tucked in, it covers it. But I guess I, I, guess I could use it if I needed it. Maybe I could even put my passports in there for extra security. But of course we know this is the full closure here. It's just a little bit unnecessary in my mind to close it all up like that. And then sometimes I'll just throw a scarf or shawl right on top and that kind of helps keep everything together. So that's how it was packed and I will just start putting everything in here now just to show you, but I really want to use this. This is my organizer insert. I got this from Zumoni, not sponsored, um, because without it, it's just too floppy. And I feel like over time it will sag. Funny enough, the Birkin, I feel like I can use without an insert at the moment. I'm, I'm probably going to sometimes use it with an insert and sometimes not. It'll depend. But the Deauville, I feel like I can never really use without an insert because it's too floppy for my taste. So I'm going to have it like this. This is cool for a water bottle, which I don't have at the moment, but you see how there's so many different compartments. Keeps everything organized, plus we'll keep the bag clean. Because the lining is a very light color, if I were to carry, for example, like a drink or my makeup and anything were to spill or even like a pen if a if i had a, a pen explode in here that would be pretty uh unsightly so i like that this felt organizer will protect it so let's just see this going back in here and the book let's see so plenty of space And then something like this, I can just put for easy access in one of the, the pockets. Don't know if you could see that. One of the pockets there. And then this is actually something I've been doing. So in that compartment, when I don't have a drink, I put my sunglasses, especially because I'm not carrying the hard case and this is just the soft pouch. I don't want it to get smushed and knocked around or scratched. So I've been keeping it in that little round compartment and I feel like it's perfect. It keeps it separate. And then of course I've got this here for anything else and I can just tuck that right there in the back. And I apologize, there's some construction starting outside my window. So if you hear some strange noises. So there you have it. As you can see, both bags carry a lot. I can squeeze more in here. I could have also squeezed more in the Birkin at the time. Um, I can still throw a scarf or shawl on top of this as well. It gets quite heavy because it's a lot of stuff, but I feel like it doesn't matter what kind of bag you're using if you're gonna carry this much, like a notebook, a book, multiple pouches, sunglasses, wallet, and then I have to add my phone, right? So it's gonna be heavy. So I probably wouldn't pack it to this extent, but I wanted to show you how much it fits. In terms of functionality, I had said earlier, this is just more versatile. I find that I can wear this anywhere very easily. Of course, it's not a dressy occasion type of bag, but errands, weekends, casual, visiting friends, going out to dinner, travel, 
you name it. This one, however, because there's no other way to carry it except for in like a dainty manner in your hand, feels very ladylike, feels very prim and proper. I feel like I reserve this more for date nights or girls night out. I haven't actually traveled with this bag, mainly because I feel like it's gonna get scratched and just fall in the airport or stepped on or rolled over or something and I don't know I feel like it's gonna get just messed up also I feel like there's a safety issue depending on where I'm traveling to if it's an area I'm not familiar with and lastly I don't know I just feel like it's so eye-catching for those who know Birkins um, I feel like especially with customs there might be an issue like if they see me with this they might want to search my entire luggage to see what else I've got and I don't really need that hassle whereas like I said I have traveled with this one and no problems at all at all so I don't know it's kind of tricky it's apples and oranges they are both tote bags but as you can see they're different I use them in somewhat different ways prices are very different materials are different construction is different um, but since this video was requested I wanted to make it and hopefully you know you find it helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are also a handbag enthusiast I'd love to have you join this community and I'll see you all next time Bye-bye.